the example given, this is the simple setup uh, we are using here to create those wrinkles, to create this cloth simulation-ish uh, cloth look. And uh, before we go into that, I, I want to actually show you and play around a little bit of how we made it happen. And it's really easy setup. Uh, I just want to walk you through it. Now let's create cube and uh, for the cloth we need the geometry, right? So let's make it quite thin and longer. It depends on what you want. Uh, how long and how thin do you want it to be and the, eventually resolution will define um, how how much wrinkles you will have and all the setup itself so there we go we have cube 3 and uh, let's create elastic out of it there you go we have elastic that's how fast it is and um, alrighty let's change the name elastic o2 and uh, we don't need this anymore just for the sake of clarity <laughs> i always uh, hide things up there you go so now we have nothing but this we have only this so it won't do much uh, let's create a tractor, for example, um, and move it around some place to go. And let's make it just active slightly, and we will see that um, it already works. So let's just not save any particles because we don't need that. There you go. It just goes up, and that's it. And as you can see, it already pushes um, like normal cloth will do. Uh, all we need to do now is to play around with the with the motion itself and to change it up resolution. Let's bump it up a little bit. There you go. Already see some wrinkles coming up. Um, although for the production level I would highly suggest you to go um, way way higher and we can do that just for the sake of exa example uh, let's bump it up to 400 first that's not too high it's 33,000 of particles and that's not too much and as you can see uh, it takes few seconds to simulate it so that's how fast it is that's how awesome <laughs> Um, elastics are in real flow so you can go insane with it um, let's try it down um, let's bump it up a bit higher and let's maybe let's create the new noise field for example and let's connect it only to this where's the attractor there you go so we would have only this affecting the new cloth since we had it by default as you can see we already have some nice motion going on and we definitely need to tweak it out in order to create what we actually want to have but let's just um, say that we use noise very slightly and this will just bring us a little bit more detail which we want there you go you can sculpt those um, cloth ish simulations or it might be even uh, something else it's up to you. You can sculpt it for stills, but actually it works amazing for animations as well, because as you can see, it's super fast and we can increase damping and higher values um, brings more of a viscous feels uh, or, and lower ones just brings more calculations. 
on board. Let's just see what we have and let's make it more stiff. There we go. As you can see, simulation is really fast, even with bigger cloths, um, bigger geometry, not only cloths. I just imagine this as a cloth because this is what I'm willing to have. It's, it looks more like waves now, right? Although it isn't, um, it acts definitely like some kind of material rather than anything else. So this is how we can sculpt um, things and actually get inspiration eventually. Uh, let's see if we would have uh, enabled fall off and we would bring whoops So we would actually use only the part of it. As you can see, we can pull things up as we wish. And we can do this with gravity, with anything else, with noise, we can make it bounded and make it act differently. So I think this is enough for playing around. Let's just move uh, back to the original simulation we made and I will walk you through how, uh, how actually it looks.